Hey, welcome everybody. This is CP Cards and Dice, and welcome to game three of our 1982 replay using the Stratomatic game system. And we are focusing on the Cardinals, the 1982 St. Louis Cardinals, who go on to beat the Brewers in seven games in the World Series. The Cardinal team was based a lot on speed. And, uh, and you're going to see that in our replay. Um, today, it's the Cardinals against the Astros and Joaquin Andujar, who really had an a, a excellent year in 1982 versus Bob Nepper, who just really didn't do all that well. So the just, uh, you know, um, off the top, it looks like the Cardinals have a big advantage in this game. We'll see how that plays out because that never you never really know in baseball how things are going to turn out. Remember, this is your home for tutorials and strategy, player profiles, history, reviews, news, tips, tops, baseball cards, rants, unboxings, and so much more. And uh, we're right about to get started. I'll go over the lineups for the Cardinals. It's going to be Smith in left field. He leads off. It's Tommy Hur at second base. Keith Hernandez is the third, the first baseman for the Cardinals. He's batting third. And the cleanup spot is Daryl Porter, left-handed hitting catcher. David Green, who had a great game um, in the previous game, he drove in five runs with a triple and a double. Tito Landrum in, in right field, batting six, batting seventh is Mike Ramsey, the third baseman. Batting eighth is Ozzie Smith, the shortstop. And finally, in the ninth spot is Joaquin Anzuhar. The defense for the Astros is Poole and right. Scott in center and left field is Jose Cruz. And it's going to be Ray Knight at third base. The shortstop is Craig Reynolds. Second baseman is Phil Garner. And the first baseman is Art Howe. Catcher is Alan Ashby, and pitcher, of course, is Bob Nepper. We're right about to get started. It's going to be Bob Nepper. He's a lefty. He's going to be facing Lonnie Smith, and we have to keep track of the fact that he's a lefty. We have a lefty versus a righty today, and that makes it a little bit harder than, uh, hey there, Philip. How are you, brother? Yes, I went, of course I went to bed. I slept beautifully for three or four hours, and now I'm back rolling Stratomatic 1982. Where were you in 1982? That's the question. Think about that. All right. Here's the first pitch from the Southpaw, Bob Nepper. Let me tell you a little bit about Bob Nepper. Bob Nepper was 5 and 15, lost 15 games uh, for the Astros. He had an ERA of 4.45, struck out 108. Walked 60 in 180 innings pitched. All right, Lonnie Smith. Lonnie Smith batted 307. Um, eight home runs. Doesn't say how many stolen bases he had, but he's a double A stealer. Stole two bases in in yesterday's game. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a five. That's going to be off Nepper. A five four fly ball left field. Coming over is Jose Cruz, makes the catch. One up, one down. And that's a 2-8 to Tommy Herr. And a 2-8 is a ground ball and through the left side for a base hit. So Herr is on with a single. And Herr is an A base dealer, and there he goes. And that's uh, he is safe. Alan Ashby, let's take a quick peek at Alan Ashby's defense. But I'm pretty sure he's safe. Uh, let's see. Ashby's a plus two arm, so he's safe for sure. Throw no, not nearly in time, not even close at second base. So Tommy Hur is at second base, singles and then steals second. And now he's set up in scoring position for Keith Hernandez. Let's see if. The Cardinals can get off to an early lead here. They won yesterday's game. They've won the first two games in this three-game set. They won yesterday's game by a score of 7-1, to one and, and we're leading at 7 nothing for a while. Here's the pitch from Nepper. That's a 3-9er. A 3-9er is going to be strike three. And Keith Hernandez down swinging. 
Big K for Bob Nepper here. Now it's Daryl Porter, lefty on lefty, and that's foul back, a souvenir for a lucky fan. All right, that's going to be versus a lefty, a six niner, and that's a ground ball, second base X. So it's chopped to second base. Let's see if our second baseman, Phil Garner, can handle it. He is a 3-E-17 at second base. And we're going to have to pull out a chart for this and get away from those charts. And we're rolling a 20-sided die, which is a 13. And he makes it there, whips it over to first, and that retires the side. So Porter grounds out to Garner. And we go to the bottom of the first. Stratomatic. Early 60s game. This is my Cold War era baseball gaming, tabletop gaming. APA and Stratomatic are basically the two oldest games that uh, that we have pretty much um, based on what I know are the most popular, oldest, most popular games, if you will. Um, all right, so it's going to be Joaquin Andujar, who is a heck of a pitcher if you look. Joaquin Andujar was 15-10 and 10 with a 2.47 ERA and 266 innings pitched. Holy smokes. Had a great year. Joaquin Andujar. And he's going to be facing the lefty Terry Poole, who's leading off in right field. Then in batting second is Garner at second base. Scott, Tony Scott, the center fielder, batting third. Jose Cruz in the cleanup spot. Alan Ashby has put, been put in the fifth spot. Batting sixth is Ray Knight, the third baseman. Batting seventh is Art Howe, the first baseman. Craig Reynolds, the shortstop, batting eighth. And Bob Nepper, batting ninth. Here's the pitch from the right-hander, Joaquin Andujar. And that's going to be a two-niner. And that's going to be a split die, triple-double. And that's going to – little flare that falls in there for a single. So Poole is on with a single to lead off the game. Poole is a B base dealer, and there he goes. And he will be a B base dealer is one to thirteen. He's being held, so that's one to eleven. Daryl Porter is a zero. Daryl Porter is a zero arm. He's basically a three zero e three three zero e three. Let me write that down. Three zero e three. So he gets in there. He's in there with a stolen base. So Poole starts off with a single and a stolen base. And uh, Phil Garner. Now, I'm not a big base dealer, but in 1982, you got to be. It's like anytime I see a B or an A or a double A, they're going automatically, whether I get thrown out or not. There's just caution to the wind. And it's uh, six against a righty, a six-niner, and that's a fly to center field. Racing in is the center fielder, Green, and he gets there. One away. So Garner flies out to center. One out, runner on second. Cool takes his lead off second. Scott, Tony Scott, that's a four. He's batting from the left side, a four-seven, and that's line base hit. And we're going to have a play at the plate, a 14, uh-oh, he may be out. Let's see what happens. Pool is a 16. And that was a single to right. He's a 16. We rolled a 14. Let's see what the right fielder, Tito Landrum, what he's got in his arm. Tito Landrum arm is a zero, so he's going to score. RBI single for Tony Scott. And surprise, surprise, the Astros have gone one up on the Cardinals. Jose Cruz now. Let's check and see if Scott can steal a base. And he is a B, so there he goes. And that's a five stolen base. So two stolen bases in this inning for the Astros. Scott is at second base. So there is definitely action here. Only negative I have with Strat is that nine times out of ten, ten pitchers out of ten pitchers strike out. 
Oh, pitchers. Yeah, pitchers don't hit very well. I don't think that's news to you, though, uh, Philip, is it? Pitchers have a tendency to strike out almost all the time. All right. 1-7. Uh, one, 1-7 seven. One, seven versus the righty, and that's a ball up the middle and through for a base hit. And we're going to try to score Scott. And he is safe. 2 nothing. And Cruz is an A base dealer, so there he goes. And that's a stolen base. <laughs> this is fun. All right, we got three stolen bases in this inning. Alan Ashby now. Oh, that's fouled. Pulled foul. Ashby is a switch hitter batting lefty. And that's a 110 versus a righty, a 110. And that's a line drive base hit. And they're going to wave Cruz around, and he scores. Ashby will not be running. He's an E-base dealer. So it's 3 nothing Astros against a pitcher who it really was a standout pitcher in 1982. 3 nothing Astros. There's only one out. Andujar has given up four singles and three stolen bases. So it's been single, stolen base, single, RBI single, stolen base, RBI single, stolen base, and RBI single. Three-nothing Astros here in the bottom of the second. Ray Knight. And that's a 1-8 against a righty, a 1-8, and that's a base hit. And Ashby, let's see, Ashby's a 1-10. to 10. And where does that go? 1-8 is a single center field. Our center fielder, Green, is a – oh, he's a minus 2, so it's a 2 minus 2 E4. Let's write that down. 2 minus 2 E4. So that Ashby then becomes an 8. So we're going to hold Ashby at third base. Uh, actually, he was, he was – okay, he just moves to second because I thought he was at second, but no. So first and second, that's the fifth single allowed here in the bottom of the first by Joaquin Andujar. Wow. And it's Art Howe runners on first and second, one out, three nothing Astros. And that's going to be a 2-4, a split die hit – and a 14 is going to be a line drive base hit to left. That's going to score Ashby. And over to third goes Knight. RBI single for Art Howe. That's one, two, three, four, five, six singles in the first inning. And it's Craig Reynolds, the lefty. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a 4-9 or a 4-9, and that's a ground ball second base, little chopper to second base. Tommy Herr is a 2-E-12 at second base, 2-E-12, and we're rolling, 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 14, and that's a ball that he gets to. Both runners are going to advance. It's going to score a run. Should have maybe had the infield in, but at this point, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You know what? He is playing the infield in, and that result there, we're going to have to see if we can say C. It's a ground ball out, run around third holes. Yeah, running on third is going to hold in that one simply because I realized I'm, I'm already one, two, three, four runs down. Normally, I don't hold any. I don't make bring the infield in in that situation. All right, I fixed it with the magic correction tape. But we got uh, two outs now in second and third. And it's the pitcher, Bob Nepper. So hopefully he'll strike out here for Philip Reynolds. 
if it's off his card. It's a pitcher hitting card one. Andujar is a pitcher. Uh, 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 Bob Nepper is a pitcher hitting card one. He's a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a five. A 5-10, and that's ball four. So Andujar walks the pitcher. Wow. Andujar walks the pitcher. And now the... The Houston Astros have officially batted around Terry Poole. He started the inning with a single. Bases are loaded. Can Joaquin Andujar get make it through this inning? That's the question. And that's a 1-8. A 1-8 versus a right-handed pitcher is going to be ball four. Walks in another run. This is hard to believe at this point. Five nothing. He's on his tenth, eleventh batter in this inning. Phil Garner. Bases loaded. And that's going to be a six eight versus a righty. A six eight, and that's popped up right side. Keith Hernandez makes the catch, and that retires the side, but not before. The Astros bring 11 men to the plate and score five runs. Lead it 5 nothing after one. Holy smokes. I never expected that. Joaquin Andujar had a 247 ERA. But that's that's the beauty of baseball. Going into this game, they had they were favored by at least three and a half runs. And everything is backwards. So if you were a betting man and you had put your money on the Cardinals in this game, wow, you'd be in for you'd be in for a big surprise. All right, let's see if the Cardinals can get some runs on the board. David Green, that's a six. David Green's a right-handed pitcher, so that's a six-four, and that's a catcher X rating. Alan Ashby, let's look at him and see what he's going to get rated as. He is a 3 plus 2 E11. 3 plus 2 E11. All right. And so we roll the 3 on the catcher. And that's going to be a foul out. So it's a pop-up. And Ashby throws his mask away, and he makes the catch. One out. Bob Nepper to Tito Landrum. Landrum is a right-handed hitter. That's a 5-12. 5-12 is a ground ball to the first baseman. Art Howe takes it himself. Three unassisted. Two outs. And Mike Ramsey, switch hitter. That's a 1-3. Batting righty, it's a one th uh, versus a left-handed pitcher. One three is a fly ball center field. Over is Scott. Makes the catch. Go to the bottom of the second. Five nothing Astros. Tony Scott is leading us off against Joaquin Andujar. Want to get some run, some innings out of Joaquin Andujar. One seven. And that's a strikeout. One up, one down. Next is Jose Cruz, a 211 pop up. Shortstop, Ozzy Smith makes the catch. Two away. That's going to be a 3 3, and that's a ground ball to the first baseman, Hernandez. He's going to flip to Andahuar uh, covering, and that retires the side. That was a quick inning. It's nice. Every so often, it's nice to have a quick inning. All right, we go to the top of the third. Bob Nepper on the mound. He's going to be facing Ozzie Smith, Andujar, and uh, Lonnie Smith. 
It's five nothing Astros. Two five. So a two five versus a lefty is a ground ball shortstop scooped by the uh, Reynolds and fires the first in time to get Smith. The pitcher now a one fiver should be a strikeout and it is Andujar strikes out. Lonnie Smith. He's a two switch hitter. That was a two. Yep. All right. Here's the pitch to Lonnie Smith. That's a three ten, and that's a hit by pitch. So he gets plunked. Lonnie Smith. And there goes Smith. Down by down by five. He steals second. Just like that. It's that easy. <laughs> All right, so he's in scoring position. Tommy Hur. That's a six versus a righty, a six seven, and that's going to be ball four. So a two out rally going here for the Cardinals who are down five nothing. Keith Hernandez. Here's the pitch to Keith Hernandez. That's going to be a four versus a lefty, a four eight, and that's line base hit. They're going to hold on that. Uh, Tommy, you know what? Smith is probably really super duper fast, but you know what? You know what? We're gonna hold. We're down by a bunch. We're down by a bunch. I bet you Lonnie Smith is really fast. I mean, he's one to seventeen. Wow, uh, one to seventeen. That's a single. That's a four eight single to left. And let's look at what. Uh, Cruz is out there. Cruz may be a plus as well. Uh, Jose Cruz is a two minus one E14. Two minus one E14. So that'll go to a 16. There's uh, two outs. So I, I think that's an extra point. It'll go back up to a 17. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't. Do we really need that run? That wouldn't hurt to have a run. Let's roll for it. See what happens. All right, they're going to try to score Smith on this single by Keith Hernandez, and he is safe. All right. So first and second. It's five to one, so the Cardinals are finally on the board. With two outs, they got something going. With two outs here in the top of the third, it was a hit by pitch, a walk, and then an RBI single by Keith Hernandez. Daryl Porter. That's a two three. A two three is a comebacker to Nepper. Feels it. Over to first, and that retires the side. But the cards pick up a run. It's five to one now. Uh, hold on a second. Let me see. Yeah, there it is. All right. Playing with the original 1982 advanced set. And as you can see, I'm starting to put the some certain players into uh, the sleeves, the protecting the protective sleeves. All right, Joaquin Andujar facing Ray Knight. Ray Knight singled in his earlier bat. It's going to be a one seven, and that's going to be a split die single double, and that's going to be pulled down the line and cut off quickly by the left fielder Smith. Knight has his second single of the day. And Knight is a D base dealer, so he won't be going. That's going to be a 6-7. Six, 6-7 seven. Six, is a strikeout. And that is the second strikeout of the game. Art Howe down swinging. Craig Reynolds. And that's a 2-4. A 2-4 is a fly ball, shallow center. In comes Green, makes the catch two away, and now it's a pitcher spot. And that's a 6-7 Nepper bat is a lefty batter. 
So that's a 6-7, and that's popped up. Shortstop Smith makes the catch, and that retires the side. So the Astros leave a runner on. And after three complete, it's 5-1 to one Astros. Now, when I started this game, it was clear that the Cardinals had a major advantage with uh, Joaquin Andujar versus Bob Nepper. But the gods of baseball would not have it. That's going to be a 1-7. That's off the hitter's card against a lefty. A 1-7 is a split die, deep drive. So David Green gets a hold of one, drives it deep to left center field, and back goes Smith, and it's off the wall. And Green into second base with an easy double to lead off the top of the fourth inning. Tito Landrum. It's going to be a four-niner, and that's a fly ball center field. Tony Scott. I'm sorry. It's uh, Yeah, it is Tony Scott. Cruises over. Gets it in. Mike Ramsey switch hitter. And that's a two-sixer. A two-sixer is ball four. So runners on first and second. Ozzie Smith. A 1-8. And that's ball four. So back-to-back -back walks. The bases are loaded. There's only one out. And here we have a situation because it's still early in the game. And it's the pitcher up. But we are down by four runs. So this is where you really got to think and take a sip of coconut, uh, I guess, coconut water, flavored water. That's what I'm drinking. Oh. Now, Joaquin Andujar is our, like our ace, if one of our aces at least. Do we want to remove him after only three innings? He settled down after having really struggling in the first few batters, giving up singles. Um, but then he's really uh, turned it around. And uh, bases are loaded. This is a big opportunity here. But I don't want to start going into relief pitchers at this point. I really don't. So I'm going to let Joaquin Andujar bat, and hopefully it'll be off a pitcher card and something good will happen for us. Bases are loaded. There's one out top of the fourth. Card, cards are down by four runs here. All right. You may or may not agree with my move, but uh, I have uh, a ID gestures in the house. How are you? It's always great to see ID gesture. Very entertaining to watch his, uh, his streams. All right. Um, it's a four, six. So that's going to be off the pitcher card and Anduhar bats. He's a switch hitter. So versus Nepper, he'll be batting righty. So versus a right-handed batter, that's a four-sixer. And one to 16, that's going to be a single. And it is a ground ball up the middle and through for two. So the cards are within three runs here. And with only one out, it's going to be Lonnie Smith. Lonnie Smith batted 307 in 1982. These are the classic uh, Stratomatic advanced cards. They're blue on one side and they're black on the other side. Um, beautiful font, very classic, beautiful font. I love. I wish uh, I knew how to recreate this font. I look around for it. I don't see it. Um, I do miss the super advanced base dealing. I don't know. Uh, my live stream is going here, ID Jester. I'm not sure what happened with anybody's live stream. You would know more about that than I do. Um, Lonnie Smith against Bob Nepper. That's going to be a 2-3, and that's a fly ball right field B. That's going to be a sacrifice fly. A sacrifice fly. Runner on third scores. Others hold. Five to three now. And it's Tommy Herr. He's a switch hitter. Tommy Herr batted uh, 266 in about 500 bats. Here's the pitch from Nepper. 
And that's a fiber. He's bat, uh, he's batting from the right side. So we're looking at a five, six, and that's a fly ball right field. And in the gap after it is pool and he runs it down, that will retire the side. But the Cardinals pick up a deuce here in the top of the fourth, and they cut the lead to Astros five, Cardinals three. So Joaquin Andujar, who had a rough first inning, has really come around and settled down. It's going to be Terry Poole leading it off. And let's say 2-4. 2-4 is a ground ball right at the third baseman. Ramsey, Ramsey fires the first and gets Poole by half a step. One up, one down. Phil Garner's next. Phil Garner's 0 for 2. He's flied out and popped up. And that's a 3-8 off Garner. And that's going to be a ground ball and through to left field for a base hit. Garner's one for three now. And Garner's an A base dealer, and there he goes. And that's a stolen base. Just like that. Holy smokes. 1982, these guys ran. Tony Scott now. Here's the pitch. That's a 6-6. Tony Scott's batting from the left side. A 6-6 is popped up. Middle of the infield, both her and Smith converging. Her calls him, calls off Smith, makes the catch. Pop four if you're scoring at home, which you should. All right, Cruz, Jose Cruz. And that's a five. Cruz is a lefty. That's going to be a 5 10, and that's ball four. So Joaquin and Duhar. Walks his third of the game. Needs to get out of this inning. Allen Ashby, switch hitter, batting lefty. There's the pitch. That's going to be a four-niner and ground ball second base X. So it's a slow chopper to her, and he charges it. And a seven. We're going to have to check his E12 rating. Uh-oh. Oh, no, he does. he gets there. And he throws out Ashby, 4-3, and that retires the side. Great play. Didn't think he was going to make it. Go to the top of the fifth, 5-3. Let's see if the Cardinals can come back in this one. Bob Nepper is still on the mound. Now, he's started to, to really struggle a little bit in the last two innings. Started off like a lion, but now turned into a lamb. Keith Hernandez. Here's the pitch to Keith Hernandez. That's a 6-7, and that's ball four. Daryl Porter's next. And it's a 1-8, strike three. So Nepper rings up Porter, David Green, a 3-4, and that's a hard hit ground ball. This is Taylor made double play. Craig Reynolds over to Garner. Relay to Howe, four, six, six, four, three, double play. And that retires the side. So David Green hits into a double play to end the inning. And we go to the bottom half of the fifth. That was a super quick inning as well. to be Ray Knight against Joaquin Andujar. And that's a 3-3. Three, three. Lined and caught by the second baseman, Her L4. One out, Art Howe. Art Howe's a righty. That's a 5-8, and that's a fly ball. Skied to left. Left fielder Smith settles under it. Two out. And it's Craig Reynolds. And that's a 3-8 split die, ground ball up the middle and through for a base hit. Two out single for Craig Reynolds. Pitcher, Nepper. It's going to be – he's a switch hitter, I believe. Nepper's a switch hitter. Let me double check that. No, he's a lefty batter. So that's versus a lefty batter. That's a 5-8, and that's a line out. L3 right at Hernandez, and that retires the side.
We go to the top of the six, five to three Astros. Bob Nepper on the mound for the Houston Astros. We're in the Astrodome. Al Red Sox fan, the one and only. How are you, brother? Love Al Red Sox fan. He's a great guy. Landrum. And that's a 3-8 off a lefty. That's a strikeout. Landrum down swinging. One up, one down. Next is Ramsey, Mike Ramsey, who's 0 for 1 in a walk and scored a run. That's going to be a 4-10. He is batting righty, 4-10, and that's a fly ball center field X. So that's driven to the gap, and after it is the center fielder, Scott. The question is, will he get there? And let's look and see what Scott is. That's a 7. Scott, I don't think I wrote him down. I did not. He is a 2-0-E-7. E, so 2-0-E-7. E, and we uh, we rolled a 7. So let's see if he could catch us up to that in center field. He is a 2, and he does. Runs it down in the gap. Nice play by Tony Scott. Got a good jump on that ball. Picked it up right off the bat. Did not hesitate. That's the way a center fielder should be. Needs to be aggressive and needs to, to really pick up the ball off the bat to gauge exactly where it's going to end up. And that's going to be Ozzie Smith. He's a switch hitter batting righty. That's a 5-8. And a 5-8 is lined and caught by the first baseman, Art Howe. The right place at the right time. Art Howe had him played perfectly. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. It's 5-3 Astros. When this game started, it was clear that the Cardinals had a major advantage with Joaquin Andujar, who, who won. Joaquin Andujar won 15 games, whereas Bob Nepper lost 15 games. So this was a no-brainer that, hey, the bookmakers in Vegas were saying, my money is on the Cardinals in this game. But if you took the odds, you are up right now. So it's going to be in the bottom of the six, it's going to be Terry Poole against Andujar. And that's a two-fiber ground ball first base. Hernandez is going to take it himself. Steps on the bag just ahead of Poole. Next is Phil Garner. That's a 2-11. And that's a ball that's pulled hard down the line. Oh, nice backhand by the third baseman, Ramsey. Long throw to first in time. Great play by Mike Ramsey. Two outs, and it's Tony Scott, a one-niner. And that's a fly ball deep to right field. Backpedaling on the track is Landrum, and he makes the catch. Three up, three down. We go to top of the seventh. It's five to three. Houston Astros. Now I'm looking into the 1983 baseball card set. It's a very, very unique set. The 1983 Topps baseball card set had the, the image of the, the, the batter, but then it had a circle and a picture of his face at the bottom of the card, which is a little bit different than uh, a lot of other uh, uh, years. Um, all right. It's the top of the seventh. It's going to be Andujar leading off, and I think it's going to be a pinch hitter now. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a pinch hitter because I'm going to pick a pinch hitter, so I know it's going to be a pinch hitter. And we're going to use somebody who actually pinch hit in this game. And it was Denny Walling, although Nepper's still in there. I would rather go with a righty. So let me pull out a righty here. So the cards are going to go to the bench, and they're going to look for a righty. Now, George Hendrick played in the first game of the season. I don't know what happened after that. Gene Tennis and Willie McGee are also on this team. I'm looking at the wrong guy here. Not Denny. Uh, for the Cardinals, there were no pinch hitters in this game. So I'm going to go to the previous game to see who they used. 
The actual score of this game, I believe, let me double check that. The actual score of this game was one nothing. Astros beat Andujar. Wow. That's crazy. Did not expect to see that. All right. We got uh, Landrum Pinch Hitter, blah, blah, blah. Gene Roof. I don't know where he is. I don't think I have a card for him. Let me see if he went to a different team or something because he's not in here. 1982. Ah, hmm. Gene Roof. No, Gene Roof only has 15 at bats in the major leagues. In, oh, no, 1982. He, yeah, he has 15 at bats, so he's not going to be carded. So we're not even going to bother looking for Gene Roof. But he does bat in this game. Um, and we're going to go one. Oh, you know who batted? Wait a second. Let me go back one more to game one, see if we have a pinch hitter that we can use. Green, Ramsey, Cott, Porter, Hernandez, Dane, Org. All right, so we are going to bring in – is Dane Org playing in this game? No, he is not. So Dane Org, although he's a lefty, he's going to come in to pinch hit because it's what I got right now. Let's see. There he is, Dane Org. He's going to pinch hit for the, for the pitcher, and then we're going to see if we have Mark Littell, Lacoste, Cot pitched for Suter. Do we have Littell or was he traded away? Uh, we should have Mark Littell here. William McGee Mura. Let's see what happened to Littell in 1982. Was he? Did he become injured or was he traded away? No, he only had 16 games and a 5 ERA, so he basically was dropped from the roster pretty much. All right, so Doug Bear. I don't know if I have a Doug Bear, but he also pitches in this game. Let's see if I can bring in a Doug Bear here. I think I saw his card. There he is. Okay, great. So we're going to use Doug Bear. Get as close as possible. And he'll be the new pitcher. Let's write him in for Andujar. Bear. All right, so here we have the top of the seventh. The cards are down by two runs. They're going to bring in the lefty org. Going to pinch hit. Here's the pitch from Bob Nepper, lefty on lefty. Two three, two threes popped up right side. There is Art Howe squeezes it one away. Lonnie Smith is next, and that's a 4-6. Lonnie Smith is a righty. A 4-6 is a split die, ground ball, and through face hit into left field. Lonnie Smith has one stolen base today. And there he goes for another one, and he is safe, thrown out in time. So he is in scoring position. Keith Hernandez. That's a 6-4 against a lefty. Ground ball, shortstop, X. So it's chopped slowly to the shortstop, Reynolds, who charges it. And let's see what happens. Reynolds, that's a 13. So we don't know what's going to happen with that. Let's uh, take a quick peek at it. The result of that situation. Craig Reynolds is a 4E31. Not a very good shortstop. 4E31. And we rolled, what, a 13 to the shortstop. And a 4. We rolled a, what, 13. And he gets there. Makes the play to first. Going to third is Smith. Two outs. So nice play by Craig Reynolds, who had to charge it. And the ball beats her to first for out number two. I, I was looking at that should not be there. Lucky it was off the pitcher's card. 
because that was not Hernandez. I'm sorry, that was Tommy Her. I skip. Uh, I jump. I uh, where is Tommy Her? Wait a second. <laughs> that has a tendency to happen. Is Tommy Her with the other team or what? Yeah, he may be. Let's go through the Astros. There he is. All right, had to use the bathroom in the opposing team's, team's dugout. So it was off the pitcher, I believe. All right. And it's, now it's going to be Keith Hernandez with two outs and Smith at third base. And here's a pitch. That's a 5-8 against a lefty, a 5-8. That's strike three, and that retires the side. So the cards leave a runner in scoring position here in the top of the seventh. we we'll go to the bottom of the seventh. And uh, the point of weakness, Nepper has reached his point of weakness here in the seventh, so we're going to have to keep track of that. Doug Bear. Let me tell you a little bit about Doug Bear pitching for the Cardinals. He was five and three with a 2.55 ERA. So on Duhar's day is over. He pitched six innings, gave up a bunch of hits. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hits. Most of them came in the first inning when he gave up the five runs. Gave five runs, all earned. He walked three, I believe he walked two, two there, three altogether, and struck out. Walked three, struck out two. Gave up no home runs. Doug Bear now against the left-handed hitting Jose Cruz. Jose Cruz batted 275 with nine home runs. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a 5-3, and that's a ground ball to Keith Hernandez, who takes it himself for out number one from the bottom of the seventh, 5-3 to three Astros. Game three of a three-game set, 1-3 now against a righty, and that's a grounder, slow grounder to third base, and charging hard is Ramsey, bare hands it, fires the first in time. Oh, just gets him at first, and you know what? Ashby actually hustled down the line and thought he was safe talking to the first base coach. First base coach, you can read his lips. He says, oh, shut up, sit down. You were out by a mile, kid. Ray Knight. Two outs, bottom of the seventh. 5-3, Astros. Ray Knight is uh, one, two for three today, two singles, and lined out. So he's hit the ball hard every time. And that's a 1-12. That's lined and caught by the third baseman, Ramsey. So he hit the ball hard four times today. All right, we go to the top of the eighth. Bob Nepper is still in the game, but he's under watch the – Point of weakness has been reached here in the seventh, and he allowed one base runner. So if he allows three more here, well, actually, uh, if he allows three in this inning, he's automatically uh, uh, basically weakened. So it's going to be Daryl Porter. Here goes. That's a two-niner against a lefty. Two-niner is a ground ball to the first baseman, Howe, who flips to Nepper covering three to one. One away. David Green is next pitch from Nepper. That's a 2-5. 2-5 is a ground ball hit hard at the shortstop. Nice hop. Fires the first. And Craig Reynolds throws him out. Two up, two down. And Tito Landrum. It's a 2 fiber, and that's strike three, and that retires the side. Easy inning for Nepper. 1-2-3. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. Doug Bear is still in there. Doug Bear's point of weakness is a three, so he gets to go some more for us. Back then, relief pitchers went a lot longer. I.D. Jester is in the house. Houston plus 160. I.D. Jester knows it all about the, the gambling. He is the gambling man. He's a riverboat gambler in Florida. 
and a swamp boat gambler. All right. What are the odds that if I go to Florida, I get bitten by a snake or eaten by an alligator? I'd like to know those odds because I know there's a lot of people that like to see me eaten by an alligator. They'd watch that if I stream that for sure. A little while, we're going to make a call to Stratomatic and get some information. That's going to be exciting. Right after this game. Uh, let's see. We are in the top of. Let's let's uh, find our bearings here. Bottom of the eighth, Art Howe. Art Howe today is one for three. Single struck out and flight out. That's a one sixer. And that's popped up. Shortstop calling for it. Ozzy Smith, the Wizard of Oz, makes the catch. Craig Reynolds. Craig Reynolds is one for three. And that's a 6 4. He's a left handed batter. That's a split die. And that's pulled down the line. And that's going to rattle around in the corner. Around second is Reynolds and the relay to third. And he is out. No safe. The ball rolled out of the third baseman, Ramsey's glove. And he is safe. So once the dust settles, we got a one-out triple. And here, this is where the game slows down a little bit. Bob Nepper's due up. And it's going to be uh, – it's going to be time for a pinch hitter. Time for a pinch hitter. And we're looking at, uh, let's see, Dan Denny Walling. Denny Walling's coming in to pinch hit. The cards are going to have to bring the infield in. All right. We got some modern reggaeton playing in the background here at the stadium. I don't know how that happened in 1982. I don't think that was an actual music style back in 1982. Reggaeton, that's that uh, that Caribbean uh, synthesis of of you know of drum beats and and uh, and rap music and so on and so forth. I'm waiting for a, a roll of 320 sided dice to see how many 20 sided dice she can get. Enjoy your calls, Strat. I don't want you to be eaten by an alligator. <laughs> yeah, what did I just say? You got it, man. Your odds are about 1 to 12 million to get bitten by an alligator. <laughs> uh, okay. I got sidetracked. Denny Walling, he's a left handed hitter. He's facing Doug Bear. With a runner on third, so the infield is going to be called in. They're all on the grass. And here's the pitch. Really need a strikeout right here to keep that run from scoring. It's 5 3 Houston over St. Louis. They don't want to give up another run and make it 6 3. So that's going to be a 3 4. That's going to be off the batter's card. A 3 4 has popped up, oh, which is what the doctor ordered. And calling for it is Tommy Herr. And he makes the catch. It's going to bring up Terry Poole with two outs now. Terry Poole with two outs, runner on third. And here's the pitch from Bear. Looks in for the sign. Sets and deals. And feels back now. That's a five. A five-five. And that's a ground ball shortstop. X. Ozzie Smith, I believe, is a one. Waits back. Now charges. Let's see what happens. Uh, one E16. And Ozzie Smith, I believe, is going to make that play, and he does. Great play by Ozzie Smith. Six three, and we go to the last inning, top of the ninth. Do the cards have a comeback in their bones is really the question. They need two runs to tie, three to take the lead. Bob Nepper has been removed. So we're going to take a peek and see who we have here coming in. I think it's going to be Dave Smith. I believe Dave Smith is with, uh, let's see who we got, Mike Lacoste 
or is Dave Smith with the other team? I, I really don't know these teams all that well. I'm learning them as I go. Steve Mura or Mura, Jeff Laddie, Dave Lapointe, Bruce Suter is on this team. I don't, I just don't, I haven't seen him pitching. Now, I don't know if he's he's injured or what's the deal with Bruce Suter. They're using Mark Littell, and Doug Bear came in. Uh, let's see the for the next game. I don't think they use anybody in in, in this game. Uh, oh, they do use Bruce Suter, so Bruce Suter is available. I remember him with the Cubs. Now Bruce Suter in '82 was nine and eight with a two ninety ERA, and he saved. Doesn't say how many saves he had. And it doesn't even say that he was a closer. So you didn't get a lot of important information back in 1982 in terms of what you needed to, to figure out, hey, who's my closer? So I guess from just ba general baseball knowledge, I'm not, you know, claiming to be uh, Wikipedia, but I know that Bruce Suter was a, a, a big, uh, you know, stopper closer type relief pitcher. All it says is pitcher relief. It doesn't say if he was a closer. It doesn't have his saves, or at least it should say CL, but hey, this is back then, and that's okay for whatever it was back then. All right. Uh, it'll be the top of the ninth. It's going to be Ramsey leading it off. He's a switch hitter. Ramsey's 0 for 2 with a walk. Then it's Ozzie Smith, El Mago, or the Wizard of Oz. And then finally it'll be the pitcher spot, and we'll see a pinch hitter for the pitcher. All right, so let's get started here. Top of the ninth, it's five to three Astros. Bruce Suter looks in for the sign, winds and deals. And that's a four eight against a lefty, a four eight. It's a ground ball shortstop X. And Reynolds is a, a four, so he's not a very good shortstop. And we roll a six and that's gonna be a ball that gets by him into left field. So because of his poor uh, range, that single goes by him, and we have a runner at first. Ramsey is a 1-13 to 13 base runner. Not that important since we need one more run in addition to that one. So he'll be going station to station here in the top of ninth. Ozzie Smith, he's a switch hitter. Now, Ozzie Smith, I don't remember him as a really, truly great hitter. He batted 248 in 1982 with two home runs. But back then, shortstops weren't expected to hit all that much. As long as they were, you know, they could flash the leather, that really is what counted. Ozzy Smith now with a runner at first base against Bruce Suter. Bob Nepper went eight innings. He allowed one, two, three, four. Five. Five hits. About three runs. And they were all earned. How many did he walk? That's a good question. He walked one there. He walked three. He walked four. Walked four. And struck out one, two, three, four, five, six. So all in all, Bob Nepper had a heck of an outing. Held his own. Very impressive. Okay. Ozzie Smith batting from the left side. And that's a 5-6. A 5-6 is a split die. Holy smokes. So Ozzie Smith lines one into the batting – into the right field corner. And a nine. That's going to go in there for a single. Drops in. Gets cut off quickly by the right fielder. Pool. Going to third is Ramsey. So you got first and third. Smith is an A base stealer. We're throwing caution to the wind. There he goes. And a 14. And A is a 1 to 15. He's being held. That's a 1 to 13. And Ashby's a plus two. He's in there. So the tying runs are in scoring position for the pinch hitter now. And who are we going to bring in to pinch hit? Who are we going to call? What are we going to call for the cards? Let's go to the previous game. You know what? Let's go one game ahead. Just one game ahead against the Pirates. Oh, that's going to be fun. Parker, Madlock, Pena, 
Barra, Roden, Stargill, Lacey. All right, so who do they use to pinch? Julio Gonzalez is around. Okay, I didn't know who he was around. Uh, Roof is still around. Orlando Sanchez. They got a bunch of guys. Let's see. Uh, Org already hit. Um, David Green. Well, David Green is playing. You know what? We're going to bring in this kid, Gonzalez. Gonzalez. I, I saw his card. Or was that with the other team? I thought I saw Gonzalez here. Lots of Mike. Yeah, Julio Gonzalez. He's going to pinch hit. All right. Julio Gonzalez, let's tell, let me tell you a little bit about him so we know what to expect. He had 87 at bats, batted 241 with one home run, three doubles, two triples, one home run, walked once. So Julio Gonzalez is going to pinch hit for Doug Bear. All right. Runners on second and third. Pitch from Suter. And that's a 3 9 or A 3 9 or is a fly ball center field. That's going to get a run in. That's deep enough to get a run in. Back is Scott. And he makes the catch. RBI there on the sack fly. And Smith holds his second base. So it's a 5-4 to four ball game now with the tying run at second base. All right. We got a little bit of mess up here. Let's see. Uh, Tommy Herr, Lonnie Smith. Okay, there it is. We fixed it. Just make sure everybody's right. So Lonnie Smith is up. Lonnie Smith is one for two, he's flied out, was hit by a pitch, hit a sacrifice fly, and then singled and stole the base. Actually, he stole two, base, two bases today. I don't know how many bases he had in reality because it doesn't say, so I really don't care too much. Um, all right, so with the tying run at second base and one out, Bruce Suter on the mound trying to close this one out. It's a five-to-four score. We're in the top of the ninth. Here's the pitch from Suter. He sets and he deals. That's a 4-11 versus a righty. A 4-11 is a fly ball right field X. Man, that's tiny. Let me look in the light. Uh, that's a right field X. Our right fielder, Poole, let's see what his deal is, what his numbers are. Rating is defensive rating. Is Terry Poole is a 2-0 E4. Two zero, e four. So he's not prone to errors, but we'll see what happens. Don't count your eggs before, or don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Here goes right field nineteen right field. What is that going to be? He's a two, and that's going to be a fly ball that he catches up to. It's a B fly out. So runner on third scores, others hold. F nine two outs. And Tommy Her now. So this is their the Cardinals are down to their last out. Do they have this comeback in their bones? Is ultimately the question. We we should talk to the odds makers ID Jester and get the odds on this. Ah, 36 saves. Should write that on the card, but I don't want to do that. In case I want to ever want to sell it, people will be like, oh, is there any writing on the cards? There is a few. Uh, there, actually, I bought this from somebody who and each pa each team has one or two players where he wrote in their their batting averages and their their slugging their on base percentage in pencil, easily erasable, but it's still there. Um. All right, so the tying run is at second base and Ozzie Smith, who can really fly, and with two outs, he's going to get a boost as well. Tommy Her now. Tommy Her is one for three. He singled and he stole the base and then he walked, he flied out and he grounded out. So here's the pitch from Suter. That's a 1-7 off of Hur's card. A 1-7, that's ball four. And that is the go-ahead run now who's on base. And are we going to try to steal an A base steal? Do we get thrown out? I don't think we're going to do that right now because we want to get this run from second home. 
Then we'll worry about stealing again. So as he gets thrown out, Keith Hernandez. Question is, do you walk Keith Hernandez here? Because Keith Hernandez really doesn't make a difference, and I'll tell you why. Because, well, it, actually it does. Because if you walk Keith Hernandez, you're putting the go-ahead run in scoring position. So on a single, he has the potential to, to score. So you don't want to walk Hernandez here. So Bruce Suter looks in for the sign, checks her at first base, and he sets and deals. That's a 1-8, and that's a ground ball hit hard at the shortstop. Craig Reynolds, he flips to the second baseman, Garner, and that's the ball game. So the Astros make it through the top of the ninth, and they win it by a score of 5-4. to four. Holy smokes. This was a heck of a ball game. The win is going to go to Bob Nepper. The save is going to go to Suter. Andujar is going to take the loss. Andujar really had a tremendous game, excepting the first inning where he gave up five runs on one, two, three, four, five, six, six singles, two walks, and three stolen bases in that first inning. And that's what uh, really ultimately was the deciding factor in a 5-4 to four Astros victory. So I'll give you the line score very quickly. Uh, we had uh, Suter gave up one hit, two hits. So that's going to be seven hits total for the Cardinals. And they made no errors. No errors that I can see for the Astros either. The Astros – had how many hits did we say they had? They had nine hits. And Bear gave up one hit. So Bear gave up a hit in two innings. So they had 10 hits. So the line scores, the cards, four runs, seven hits, no errors. And the Astros, five runs, 10 hits, no errors. And I have to head off to my yearly checkup right now. And uh, I will be back to stream in a little while, some more action. I don't know if I'm doing any more strat today. I will do an app series have not done Apple in a while, and I'm re and I'm replaying that 1987 uh, season. Strawberry's having a monster. He's got I think 16 home runs in like 40 games. Um, so this is it for our Stratomatic series against the. This is the opening series of 1982 versus the Houston Astros in the Astrodome using Stratomatic advanced 1982 classic cards. And what I do when I find myself uh, using the cards more and more, I start to protect them using the sleeves, the plastic sleeves. But that said, you watched, I think, what a great game, and you had a feeling that the Cardinals were going to somehow manage to come back, and they made it close. They had the, the tying run at second base there for a couple of batters, but uh, the batters could not come through. So... The Astros win five to four, and uh, thanks for coming by. I thank everybody for stopping by, and Philip and ID Jester and our Red Sox fan and everybody else who was here. And remember, this is your home for tutorials and strategy, player profiles, history reviews, news, tips, tops, baseball cards, rants, unboxings, and so much more. Uh, I will see you guys later on today. Have a great day. Take care. This is CP Cards and Dice saying adios, amigo.